Hey everyone, in this tutorial we are going to discuss about how to create a supply and demand zone template uh, using the TradingView platform. So in order to create the supply and demand zone drawing templates, so we're going to use uh, the price and prediction, uh, prediction and measurement tool section. From there click on that, go to the price range. This price range usually draws a rectangular zones which can be used later on to create a supply and demand zone templates. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create, select the star icon. I'm going to add it to the favorites. So once you add it to the favorites, automatically you'll be seeing a, a small icon over here, which automatically it gives a easy access to the price range. Now I can click on this price range and also I can create a supply or demand zone. Let's say I'm just creating a zone here. So this is going to be a only one of the important zone. Now we can see this zone had created a, a zone with an, a default color. So I'm going to change the color to uh, supply color generally in a red format. So let me double click on that. First thing is that the center line, there's a small uh, arrow is there, right? So that arrow, I'm going to make it as transparent. So in order to make it as transparent, reduce the opacity to zero so that it becomes transparent that line becomes transparent and it gets removed away from the zone and uh, change the background color to something like uh, red so red yeah so red and with mild opacity so maybe let's make that zone a little bit slightly visible and thin make it as something like 30 percent should work out it looks like a nice cool zone and uh, now, once you're done with that, right? So once you're done with this coloring and uh, remove the label background, so obviously there'll be a label background will be there. Remove that label background and save this as a template. So price press OK. Now you can see that there is a, uh, next to that, there is a small uh, uh, template section is there. Click on template and save drawing template as, make it as a supply zone. So supply zone is nothing but what? supply i just may mention just simply supply supply zone is nothing but an, uh, a zone where institutional selling usually happens or institutional selling is expected save this as a supply zone drawing template now similarly we have to create a drawing template for uh, demand as well right so uh, click on the same uh, price range click on this uh, demand zone now change the colors oops Change the colors to green, so dark green, but still I want a visibility. Let's check the visibility here. So visibility, let's make it as 30 percentage, even more, little bit lighter. Yeah, that works. And once you're done with that, again, go to the template, draw saving template as, make it as demand and press save so obviously now you have the templates now we can apply the templates just by clicking on the templates over here now let's see how quickly we can apply over here so if in case you want an uh, favorite there is a uh, small star icon over here show your favorite drawing tools bar you can disable it or you can enable it right so you can disable it or enable it so now let me tell you uh, how you can pull out let's say you're going to bank nifty bank nifty and uh, here we go we are in bank nifty here and now what we're going to do now is now we're going to draw the supply and demand uh, tool so click on this tool automatically you will be getting the templates so pick up a demand template demand template is mostly for uh, uh, buying right so buying zone so figure out the buying zone here. So there is a small buying zone on this range and uh, just place a zone over here. So that's the uh, demand zone. Whereas when it comes to supply zone, click on the supply. So go to the drawing template icon and uh, select supply zone. And now we can go and mark the supply zone over here. Let's say I'm just marking a supply zone over here. There's a small supply zone over here. And there we go. So, of course, to draw a demand zone, oops, 
it's supposed to be a demand zone, right? So select this zone. Ensure that you are selecting uh, supply for the sell side and demand on the buy side. So demand, so demand usually plots in green, right? Yeah. So there we go. We are done. All right. So very quickly we are able to draw the demand and supply zone, and later on you can use it for your uh, own purpose to draw on any charts. Let's say one more time. I'll repeat it with uh, M6 crude oil. MCX, let's say MCX crude. So okay, maybe I'll type crude oil, crude oil futures. From here, let's say you identified a supply zone over here. I mean demand zone over here. Click on the price range. So automatically, try to draw a zone. And here we go, we have a demand zone. Likewise, you can draw the supply zone as well just by selecting the templates or applying the templates. Let's say this zone you want to apply is a demand zone. You can just select demand. Or probably let's say I'm going to a 15 minute time frame and you want to plot a previous supply zone over here. So select the template select supply apply it like kind of an zone which can apply like a supply zone so hope you're able to find this interesting if you find this interesting uh, go and subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon so that you can receive notification whenever we are publishing any new video uh, tutorials Thanks for coming and watching by. Thank you.